This ASIC miner is earning right now $73 per day. The most profitable ASIC miner nowadays. What is this ASIC miner? What is it mining? What is the future of this ASIC miner? Is it a good idea to buy it? In this video, we are going to analyze everything from that and also the cons. What is the possible future of the miner? Is there any problem with what is it is miner? How will it be the profitability in the future? We're going to see exactly everything so you understand if it's a good idea to buy the ant miner of Cadena, the KA3. But before we start, as always, if you like the video, a like helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm. If you want more videos like this, you can always subscribe and you can tell us on the comments below or on Instagram. You have the link down below. And with all that said, let's go. OK, so here we are. And the miner we are talking about is the Bitmain and Miner KA3 OK, of Cadena. This miner got so much news lately because it's so profitable. OK, this miner makes 166 terahas, which is incredible for cadena and is making 72 dollars a day before electricity uh, after electricity around 53 dollars a day in the maximum it was making around 175 dollars a day in august which is yes crazy okay i mean it's, it's, it's crazy the profit that is generating so what is this asic why is it so popular what is happening with it well this asic miner is the first my uh, asic that bitmain makes for cadena as you may know bitmain is the main producer of asic miners for bitcoin and for other algorithms but they didn't have any for cadena and they decided to change that okay so they are launching this asic miner but they are not launching it yet they are launching it in december okay as you can see everyone who's selling it is for december it's basically a pre-order and the biggest question is how much does it cost well this asic miner right now to pre-order cost around six thousand three hundred dollars you can see here the price and as i didn't mention actually in the intro because i'm retarded we have our own asic miner shop you can go buy it there and uh, we also have the same the best price okay 6300 i always say if you want the best price come to our shop but um well uh, sorry i forgot to say it in this video as i said we also have it in our shop it's basically a pre-order okay it costs 6300 dollars which is crazy okay as i said this ASIC is making $1,600 a month, which means you are getting your money back in around... Well, it depends on your electricity, obviously, as always, but not even that. Look, let's say you're paying $0.32 cents per kilowatt, okay? Let's say you're living in Europe, you pay a huge amount for electricity. Still, you're going to earn your money back. Let's say you pay $6,300, okay? Let's say you buy this. Well, I mean, you obviously, you have to put the shipping, okay? Shipping is like 300 more, okay? Let's put 320 for the shipping. And the taxes, I cannot tell because it depends on the country, but normally it's like 10%, so let's let's say like 600 more, okay? Let's let's make the, 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 the worst case. If even with that, if you divide that by 48 with 66, which is what it costs right now, you will get your money in 148 days. What the hell? <laughs> like, that's crazy. That's, that it looks like a Ponzi, to be honest. So why is it so cheap? Why is people like me selling it so cheap? What, what, what is going on, right? Why so profitable? Even if you're paying electricity at 0 0.32, which is like 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 madness, literally madness. Um, when if you pay that electricity in any other miner, you don't make anything. Well, there is a couple of reasons, and that's what we are going to see right now. First of all, as I said, this is the first miner that Bitmain makes for Cadena. Who was making miners for Cadena until now? Well, basically all of them were from Goldcell. Okay, Goldcell is a different company that also make ASIC miners. It's also Chinese and they do different strategies let's call it like that the biggest miner until now was the KD max which was making 40 terahas and it was using 3000 watts this new miner makes 166 terahas which is four times more and its consumption is the same 3000 watts so what the hell? They just make a miner that is four times better. What does it mean? It means, first of all, that gold cell miners were not that good. That's, that's of course. Second, that there is a lot of room for improvement in these gold cell miners that they were making. But most importantly, if you bought a KD Max, if you bought a KD Lite, all of the miners that they used to be for gold cell, I'm sorry to tell you this, but they are outdated. Right now, they are getting outdated right now. Like, literally, in this instant, this thing is outdated. Why? Because it costs $8,000. It costs even more than the big Bitcoin, the Bitmain miner, and it's not going to generate anything because it's generating one-fourth using the same electricity. Their efficiency just died, okay? I think the efficiency we can see here is 0.08 uh, per joules per terahash, 0.019. Like, 
it's, it's crazy, okay? It's just crazy. So, the thing is that um, this miner has good things and has bad things. What is the good thing? Good thing is that it's very profitable, okay? You can imagine that. That's, that's the main thing. It's very profitable. Even if you run in super high electricity, you're going to be making money. The real problem that it has is, uh, I would say it has two main problems. Not problems, but it could be problems. The, the first one could be a problem. The second is a problem. The first one is that you are mining Cadena, okay? If you mine Cadena, uh, you're mining a crypto that is not Bitcoin, it's not as stable, it's not a crypto that you know is going to be there for the next years. It's a crypto that has a very interesting project, but still, uh, price-wise, it had a time where it went like 20x, which was crazy, but after it went down, 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 and yes, now it's more stable, but you depend on their project, their project, their ecosystem, we already analyzed it in a video that we did before about if you shoot mine Katina, you can check it here, uh, I think their project is interesting, okay, their ecosystem is very interesting, they have, uh, well, there are good things, there are bad things, but the real problem is that you are buying a project that, or mining, in this case, a project that is a L1, which means you basically depend on people who's going to use your blockchain. They have their own blockchain and they need ecosystem, they need other apps to go in their blockchain. And right now, if you go to their ecosystem, they do have more applications than the last time I did the video. It was three months ago. Uh, but still, mm, there are not that many. So it's definitely risky. It's definitely growing, which is great. And they are also giving grants of 100 million to developers to develop stuff in the Cadena ecosystem, which is great, obviously. That's great you can see it in here you can apply for grants uh they have an incubator they are bringing new projects that that's amazing i mean that's amazing but you can see here the 100 million grant program the 100 million grant program they, they have a couple of them but um you, you never know if it's gonna work because maybe it goes very well in the beginning and then it disappears uh the team of cadena is pretty cool okay it's uh, guys with a lot of experience they come from different backgrounds and in general it's pretty good they come from microsoft from apple from jp morgan from tethos there's a lot of guys who come from very good places, so the team is very solid. I like Cadena, personally, I think it's a nice project, but it's not Bitcoin. You don't know how stable it's going to be. I mean, yeah, maybe right now it works very well, maybe not, okay? So that's the worst uh, problem you can find. If you buy, I don't know, any Bitcoin ASIC, I don't know, anyone, okay? Any that you want to buy. For example, the MS uh, th Plus of 100 terahertz. Uh, you know that Bitcoin is going to keep being there. You know that the price of Bitcoin, yeah, it may buy, right? but in the future... Mm, Sounds like it's going to do good, right? Cadena probably will do good. We don't know if it will go as up as last time in the maximum uh, the, the maximum price they got because it was crazy. But for sure it will do good, I think, in my opinion. But it's much more risky. So that's the first thing you have to take into account. The second thing that you have to take into account is difficulty. Why? Because this ASIC miner, basically what it's generating is an increase so high that it's changing everything, okay? Uh, what you are actually seeing right now is not actually true. I mean, yes. It's a very profitable ASIC, I'm not gonna lie, that's amazing. And obviously, if I can buy it and return my money in 120 days, I'm gonna do it. But I'm gonna do it, you're gonna do it, he's gonna do it, everybody's gonna do it. So what happens with that? It's the same thing it was happening on Bitcoin on the beginning. There was a lot of people that would come and mine all the way straight up from the beginning. And when they started mining, then some other guy would come and get a new ASIC machine that was like three times better. And then your machine just dies and you have to get another machine. What happens when everyone is using that other machine, difficulty goes to the moon. We can say to the moon in this case. So what happened until now? Well, here we can see that Kadena and we can see the uh, the difficulty of Kadena that has been kind of exploding. So what is the difficulty? The difficulty is basically how much people is mining. The more people that mines, the reward is always the same. Okay, so if we are dividing six Kadena between six people, everyone takes one. If we are dividing it between 100 people, well, then you're taking less, right? So the thing is that the difficulty was always growing, obviously, because it's a very profitable um, coin to mine, even with other uh, miners, like for example, the KD6, KD Max, is still profitable, it was profitable to mine. But then it got like stable because the price of Cadena was very stable, like in August it got very stable. And what happened in August? In August, difficulty went from 180 to 280, which is around 53% uh, up, which is kind of crazy, okay? And a lot of people were asking me like, Pedro, why? Like, why is this happening? Why did the difficulty is going so much, uh, so high in Kadena? Well, the main reason was Bitmain was mining with, with these ASICs. Yeah, they put them public now, or they're going to put them pu public now from December, but not now for the general public, but they are already mining. This is not nothing new. I mean, Bitmain, for example, they have the S19 Pro Hydro of 198 terahertz. This is for Bitcoin uh, that will be launched, I think, in around December of this year. Here it says in stock. I don't know why, but uh, it shouldn't be in stock. I mean, I mean it's, it's still pre orders at this for what I know. Uh, and still, uh, they have been mining with it for around a year in some farms in uh, America. So that's what Bitcoin, that, that's what Bitcoin does, okay? They start mining before you. So they're going to be mining with these ASICs until December. They're going to make a ton of money, a ton. 
So you have to take into account that this is nothing compared to what is going to happen. Because when they start selling these ASICs, everybody's going to start mining, start mining, start mining with ASICs that are much more efficient, much more profitable. And difficulty is going to skyrocket, literally skyrocket. So I don't know how much it will go up, but maybe it go up 2x, 3x. I don't know, okay? So that's the main problem you may have. Yes, it's very cheap, but probably won't be that profitable in the future. The profitability always ends up dying. In my opinion, I think it will end up in a ROI, return on investment of around maybe a year, maybe a year and a half, something like that. I think still is very attractive because in the beginning, it's going to be very profitable, but we will have to see. In my point of view, okay, and this is, I'm going to try to be as ambias, biased as I can. Obviously, uh, if you buy it and you come to my website and you buy it, uh, for me, it's amazing. So I could tell you like, oh, just go buy this miner. It's amazing. It's great. Just click here, go in, add to cart, go in, check out and send me the money. I, I could be like that, okay, but I I'm not going to be like that because I am not like that. So I'm going to tell you the truth. I think it's interesting, a very interesting ASIC miner because it's very profitable and because the price is super cheap compared with the last one and they are breaking the price. Uh, first of all, for what I have heard, because as you may know, if I have a shop, we work with some uh, partner that I have who is Spanish but live in China. And for what we have found out right now, this is the price we're going to get for pre-orders, 6,300, 6, what we have, what almost people have, like the best price we can have. But uh, in the future, we'll probably go up. That's the first thing. Obviously, the price goes up, the return on investment goes down. It goes higher, obviously, more days. So that's the first thing that I think is going to happen. First, price will go up. So I do think it's a good investment, but the very big risk is the thing of difficulty because you don't really know how much, uh, how higher is going to go. How much are you willing to uh, wait for your return on investment? That's the real question. Are you willing to be waiting to return your investment one year? Like, that, that, I mean, that would be great anyways. But, um, or, or you just expect to have 120 days. If you expect to return your investment in 120 days, I'm sorry, but that's not going to happen. Because as soon as they get released and they start arriving to homes, um, difficulty is going to go up. Uh, I mean, it's that simple. So profitability for sure will go down. Uh, so it's going to be very profitable, but I don't know until what level, because we don't know how many they are creating. We don't know how many they are selling. So we'll have to see what they are selling. In my opinion, it's very interesting. And I'm personally probably going to buy one with my partner. Uh, we'll, we'll put it in our place. But we will see. We will see. Because, um, as I said, <laughs> we don't know how much they are going to sell. Probably profitability will go down, but still, it's crazy. Like, compared with any other ASIC, like, it's just miles away. Like, if you go to the main uh, page of ASIC Miner Value, you can see that it's generating $63 after electricity if you're paying 12 cents, uh, 12 cents which is a kind of electrical rate of uh, homes. Uh, but the next one who's making more is making $14. Like, it's... It's not even close, okay? It's not even close. So it's such a growth in um, in profitability, it's such a growth in efficiency that I think it's a great ASIC, to be honest. Like, machinery is great. Uh, will it dump in, in difficulty? Maybe, but it's so cheap that still I think it's a good idea because it's 140 days. This is not financial advice. I never made financial advice, but I think it's very interesting and everybody's talking about it. So I just wanted to comment on it. I wanted to know what you think also. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up if I don't destroy the mic. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.